What's going on YouTube? Today is Friday, December 2nd. Um, it is early in the morning. It is currently 7.42. Um, so we're going to get our day started. I got to go to work for nine hours. Unfortunately, I work eight to five. So that's the most sucky part of the day. But once I get through that and then I go to the gym, the rest of my day flies by. Um, so yeah, we're going to go to the gym. I believe today is... Today's a leg day. Today's Friday. Today is a leg day, so it should be a pretty good workout. So hopefully I can run you guys through a, like a leg day. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to really talk, only because the gym music is loud and I don't want to get copyrighted. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to make this into a vlog. I'm also going to try to get content for TikTok and Instagram, obviously. So, yeah, I just want to let you guys know what we're doing. Um, I also have some news. I'm, I'm currently looking for a coach. I would really like to level up and take bodybuilding to the next level. I think me having a coach and actually going through prep for a show and like, you know, getting a feel for everything, I'm I think it's going to be good for me. Um I think it's really going to help me see if I like it or not and um I I want to take it to the next level. I would really like to win my first show. Um like that's a goal of mine to win a show. So we got to keep working, keep training keep getting there um i really need to find a coach so if any of you guys can help me with that comment on this video where i can find one because your man needs a coach man i need a coach like i just it's not that i can't do it myself it's that i just i feel like i would be better off with you know help obviously um but yeah so that's where i'm at mentally um i'm doing pretty good a lot stronger than I was a couple years ago. So, you know, life is taking its course. I'm getting happier. I'm getting stronger mentally and physically. So I cannot complain. Hey, guys. I'm on uh, lunch at work. And I just wanted to come on here and kind of give, like, a little message of the day type thing. Like, I'm not always going to do this. But, like, it kind of just popped into my mind. Um, I just wanted to remind you guys you never know what somebody's going through so i highly encourage you to think before you speak and by that i mean like before you say something that you might not think is rude like think about okay maybe this person's going through something or like maybe they're gonna take this a different way like always kind of think ahead because some words leave impacts on people that last a lifetime Whenever they think of you, they're going to think of those words that you said to them. Do you want them to remember you by something bad or something good? Because, you know, someone, I'm not going to name any names, and my coworkers, if you're watching this, some of you may or may not know what I'm talking about. Um, but someone told me um, today that I should just work at a, like, garbage like I, I should work on a garbage truck and you know at first I kind of just laughed it off but then I realized like he wasn't trying to be funny and he wasn't trying to be nice um, he was actually he was putting me down he's basically telling me I'm good for nothing um, which it I it doesn't bother me as much because I know my worth and I know what I care about and what I don't care about. But I'm just wondering what would have happened if he said that to someone who took it in a different way or, you know, who really was going through it. Because, you know, even sitting back and I'm like, wow, like he really said that to me and I'm still thinking about it and I'm still replaying those words and it's making me feel some type of way towards that person. It's almost like... I wonder what it would have been like if either the roles were reversed or he said it to someone else who couldn't handle it, you know? I, I'm just encouraging you to, sp to think before you speak, regardless of if you're trying to joke or not, or if you actually mean it. Like, if you just don't have something nice to say, just don't say it, you know? Because you can really, you can do dam you can do so much damage with words. It's unbelievable. Like, I, I still remember things people said to me in middle school. And 
I, I find it crazy because I I don't remember the good things people said to me in middle school. I remember all the bad things. I remember being made fun of. I remember when someone told me I wasn't enough. I remember people just just being mean or making me feel l m like I remember being in class and someone made me feel like less of a person than they are. I mean, that's not how the world should be. We should be helping each other, lifting each other up and supporting each other. I just don't understand, but I hope you guys understand where I'm trying to go. I just encourage you to just think about what you say before you say it and treat other people how you'd want to be treated. I mean, would you want someone to tell you that you're not good for anything? Because I feel like I've been told that. Um, I actually, I'm going to tell you guys a story. I remember one time I was out, we were eating, and I, I was with my family. And, um, you know, this was when I still played soccer. So I was probably sophomore year, sophomore, junior year. Um, we went out for dinner. And I stopped taking soccer as seriously because I wanted to work full time, which isn't an issue. Um, but then my dad told me, like, uh, it was just the way he said it. He was like, oh, you're never going to go pro. You're going to be working as a Walmart greeter for the rest of your life. I will never forget those words. Never forget those words. Um, and I really hope one day that I can rub those words in his face. As much as I, I still love him, and we, we have a good connection, but it's just like, I still think about it sometimes, and I'm like, wow, like, he said that to his own child. He didn't take it back. He didn't ever apologize. Like, when people hear something discouraging, it's crazy, like, how much it affects them, because... I could sit here and be like, oh, like, I know my worth all I want. I could say that all I want. But at the end of the day, you can't tell me there wasn't a thought in the back of my mind that doubted myself for a second. When I heard those words, oh, you're going to be a Walmart greeter for the rest of your life, I was, you know what I thought about? I pictured myself as a Walmart greeter, and I was like, oh, maybe he's right. <laughs> no! Stop settling for less. If you want to do something, go do it. Put your mind to it and get it done, bro. This is why I'm telling you, if you want to do something, do it. And this is another reason. This is also why I tell you, people's opinions are irrelevant. People's opinions are irrelevant. It's what you make of yourself. It's what you think of yourself. How you love yourself. That is what matters. That is what matters. And that will always be what matters. Yeah, I'm sorry for the rant, guys. I just needed to come on here and say that because I felt like it needed to be said. Um... I'm kind of just venting. But yeah, I will see you guys at the gym. <laughs> just made it to Powerhouse. Um, so yeah, we're about to go hit some legs. I got my boy Casey with me. And uh, hopefully we can get a pretty good workout in. Hopefully I can get some good content and the gym music isn't too loud, but we're gonna see. I'm pretty excited. Um, today was a pretty eventful, <laughs> eventful day for me. I'm not gonna say why just yet, but you guys will figure it out in a little bit. All right. Um, so we going yeah. hard. Oh yeah, now nah, we're going crazy. I really need to get confident with recording in public too, because I feel like I'm always like scared. Like I was like, oh, what are people thinking? Like, fuck that. It's it's about to be 2023. I gotta move different. <laughs> I gotta I gotta start doing what I want to do with my life. You know, it's time to time to grow up, move on. I'm not in high school no more.
precisely spewing me.
this is my least favorite part of that day. <laughs> I don't know why. Not, not really. Actually, ham is I'll take calves over ham is any day. Bro, do you guys even train calves, bro? Well, that's definitely copyright. <laughs>
All right, guys, so that concludes our little uh, leg workout. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope the footage was good enough. Um, Casey, did you have a good time? Uh, fuck yeah. Bro, <laughs> literally, my legs are dead. Like, I feel like I'm wobbling right now. I feel like I'm walking like happy feet. The penguin, that's what I feel like right now. <laughs> but yeah, so that's gonna, that's gonna be it for this YouTube video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. You know the vibes. You know what I'm saying? I didn't mean to rhyme, but you know what time it is. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What did I just do there? Yo. Hold on. Put me, on a, on. put me on a track. Hold up. Nah, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to end it right here. See you guys. All right. <laughs> I'm not really sure if you guys can see me right now. And excuse my flickering light. I got to handle that. But uh, I'm not ending the vlog here. I thought I was going to end it here. <laughs> I'm actually taking it to Chipotle. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me and my boy out to Chipotle, and we'll see you there. I'm gonna show you what I eat. Um, and just keep in mind, bro, I'm not a professional. I don't claim, I don't have my pro card. Um, I I have never competed, not yet. I plan to. But yeah, this is kind of like a road to show almost. I don't even have a coach yet, so you guys are with me for, for the ride, basically. You guys are coming with me on this adventure. So I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I do, because I am having, I'm having so much fun. Like, I really, cannot get enough of the gym bro like <laughs> i can't no matter how much i go i need to switch hands i really hope that you guys enjoy this as much as i do um wow this flickering light is very annoying i am so sorry um yeah i don't have a coach yet i do want to compete it is my goal to win at least one competition in my lifetime i i don't know if i really want to go pro i feel like i would have to get big right and i just i'm small so i just don't feel like that would necessarily look good on me if that makes sense um you know like small and like super jacked i just i i just feel like it looks kind of weird you know um but yeah so we're gonna go to chipotle I, like i said i'm not i'm not claiming to be professional um i actually uh like so a lot of people dm me and ask me what I eat and um, like how I train and I always tell them um, to do research because I I don't really go by the books I kind of just do what I think is best for me almost and I mean obviously I do research I've done research for myself and on form technique you know everything eating I've done research and I, I eat healthy and all that but um, I, I don't have like a set thing like I don't track calories or anything yet like I'm not that deep into this you know what I'm saying I want to be that's where I'm go that's where I'm headed um, and that's where I've been headed the entire journey on the gym like that's always been my kind of end goal um, so yeah you guys are really watching me grow not just as a bodybuilder but as a person like you guys are gonna be kind of in my life and get to understand more about me how I am and I just think that's cool like I don't know I'm kind of just talking but I hope all of you guys are able to find something that you can do with passion in life and you can enjoy and it helps you be happy like genuinely happy something that money cannot buy you know um, it's it's so cool to experience something like that and if you guys are like you know sitting at home bored or something bro like go it doesn't even have to be the gym just go out and find something to do because if you find a hobby that you really enjoy doing and you you really put your mind to that it's you'll be surprised at what you can accomplish you really will you will surprise yourself nine times out of ten but you have to actually like make time for that thing and you know dedicate yourself to almost improving every day every day you got to be better I wake up every day and I'm like damn what can I do today to be better than I was yesterday and I'm, I'm dead serious as cliche as that sounds because I know a lot of people would say that it's I'm so serious when I do that when I when I say 
I am so serious when I say I do that because I just, I always want to be better. I mean, it, it makes me happier being a better person and it makes me feel better about myself. So why would I not want to, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, we're almost at Chipotle. Which I'm hype about, I'm so hype about. I'm trying to race, bro. <laughs> I drive an F-150. Alright guys, I'll see you in Chipotle. Here we are, ladies and gents. I am so excited to eat this, bro. I actually, uh, fun fact, I actually came to Chipotle yesterday. Excuse me, what'd you say? You got a license to drive this fucker. Oh uh, yeah, I got a license, officer. You, you need it? Yo, uh, also, I forgot to tell you, bro. There's this, there's this kid who works here, who goes to power. I'm not gonna say his name. I'm not gonna show you who it is. But it, literally every time I see him here, he gives me Chipotle for free. Bro, I've seen him. Yeah. yeah, he gives me Chipotle for free. So if you see this, bro, shout out to you. I love you so much, bro. Like you're helping the bulk. Facts. You were helping the bulk and you were helping me save Big money, reps. bro. You were helping me save money. Um. So yeah, let's freaking. Where's my wallet? I need my wallet. And they were yeah. going freaking ham. That girl just stared at me. Oh, me? I know. Oh, was that you or me? I don't know. She looked me dead in the eyes, I think. I don't know. Who's the Riz God? Who is the real Riz God? Nah, I'm just playing. Yo, we freaking made it, bro. I'm just gonna hope they don't yell at me for recording. I don't even know if you guys can hear me, but I'm gonna run you through like what I ordered. Like, I'm gonna, hopefully you guys can hear me, but I'm gonna run you through, yeah. I'm gonna run you through like what I ordered. And like I said, it might not be the perfect bowl food, but it tastes good and it's like, you know, it's working for me, so. Can I get a double wrap burrito? Can I get double white rice? And then double chicken and double beef. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. The chicken is so good. Mm. Double chicken, double beef, double rice. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can I just get a double cheese? And that's everything. Egg is secure. I gotta get myself some water though. This? Yeah. Oh. I'm so excited. Let me go get a burrito. Bro, this is the biggest burrito I've ever eaten in my life. Oh my god. 